let me introduce myself first. I'm Marcel van Diemen. I'm plant breeder at Vitalis Organic Seeds in Voorst, the Netherlands. I would like to tell you something uh, shortly about uh, our new variety, Steph Koury, our, uh, about our breeding uh, at Vitalis, a plant breeding of uh, new Koury uh, types. And I would like to tell you something about the history of Vitalis. Let me start with the history. Jan Velema, in 1994, a plant breeder, a lettuce breeder, started his own company and he called it Vitalis here in Voorst after a, a thorough market uh, survey. It seemed that organics, there was a lack of organic seeds in the market already in 1994. And he started Vitalis and he started also breeding. He started breeding Kuris, Ushiki Kuri, it's called. The first time the red, let's say Maxima, uh, the Max, uh, Cucubita Maxima types. And he started to breed lettuce, endive, spinach, div diverse other crops. But the Kuri is what I want, would like to uh, talk about. Because uh, also already from 94, he started to make selections, selections within the Ushikikuri type. Uh, the Ushikikuri was a selection from Japan. Um, and we made, uh, Vitalis made their own selection and their own variety. And at the same time, uh, crosses were made with diverse backgrounds in the Maximas and, with, and to obtain better quality, better taste, better yields. And on the other side, also a good storability. And that's what we test here. So what, uh, what Jan did uh, already from 94 um, uh, came out in a few uh, male and female lines. And with those lines, we developed complete new hybrids. Uh, one of the new hybrids in our house is Steph Curry at this moment. We have a very interesting product, very nice color, very uniform in size and shape, as you can see and um, in quality very tasteful. And on the other hand, it is, um, it is a vine type, which is for the organic growers uh, very easy to grow because it covers your soil very quickly and causes uh, weed suppression, which is uh, very important for the organic growers. So altogether, the development of this, uh, of this hybrid took us a long time. It, we, we started with a lot of diversity, um, crossing maxima. Hey, we talk about the cucubita maxima. We crossed diverse maximas uh, to obtain better shape and uh, especially taste. Um, in this product, in the Steph Curry, we can say there is 10 years of in intensive breeding work has been done. And we have developed a father and mother line uh, to obtain this beautiful hybrid. The um, product, um, good curry, out of beautiful uh, parent lines, diverse in shape, color, background. Um, as you can see, um, uh, a lot of diversity that we use, even oval shaped or more the the Ushikikuri types. And as you can see, this gives a, a lot of diversity in our program and also diverse resistances and diverse um, storability or shelf life. And the shelf life often is, um, depends on, of course, the background of the, the material. And more the white and the gray types sh uh, store better than the red in original state. Now we know that the red can store also very well if you use the right genetics. So I will cut one of the fruit to show you the internal quality. And what we see here is that um, we have a very thick uh, fruit flesh, uh, a rather small seed cavity. The seed is already loose in the fruit and also the seed, the um, fruit flesh is uh, 
of very, very good quality, eating quality. So you can see that the bricks levels are um, very high and still very juicy. That makes it a very interesting and nice variety. Thick flesh, good colors, small seed cavity, nice external color, and a nice shape, nice round shape. Well, that's it. I would like to uh, say thank you and good luck with your, uh, with the, uh, with your um, cultivation of this beautiful variety. Thank you. I'm Shana Bronstein. I'm the Pacific Northwest rep for Vitalis Organic Seeds. Today I want to tell you a little bit about our new red curry variety, Steph Curry. This variety is an organically produced variety that was bred with organic growers specifically in mind. Some of the traits that make it really great for organic growers are its early maturity. So it typically is ready one to two weeks earlier than your full size winter squash, such as butternut. Um, it's really easy to, to harvest it out of the field. It does have a vining habit, but the fruit set is fairly um, condensed around the crown set so when you go to find the fruit in the field they're they're all kind of grouped together one of the things i love best about this variety is that it doesn't need to be cured so it's good to eat straight out of the field so don't have to worry about curing it about holding it at a specific temperature right after harvest this this variety is good to eat straight out of the field uh, and it tastes delicious. It has a wonderful, nutty, earthy uh, flavor, a somewhat dry texture, um, and um, <clears throat> the plant also has good resistance to powdery mildew compared to the other open pollinated varieties on the market. I find Steph Curry to be a very attractive fruit. When I put this out at displays, people always are attracted to it. They come over, they want to pick it up, they ask me if it's real, because it does just have this beautiful exterior rind pattern. It has those nice uniform stripes, as well as a really glossy shine. And it doesn't get rough or dimpled in storage, it really retains that smooth skin and that gloss to it that makes it super attractive for retailers and consumers. The red curry type is unique in that it has a very thin skin that's edible. So you don't even have to peel this to prepare it. Um, and even if you're doing something like a puree, you don't need to take the skin off. You can just go ahead and blend it up with the rest of the fruit. If you're interested in learning more about Steph Curry or growing it on your farm, please reach out to one of your regional Vitalis representatives. Hello, my name is Adrian Shelton. I am an organic product specialist for Vitalis Organic Seeds. I'm based in the Northeast, and I am excited to have the opportunity to talk virtually with Heron Breen from Fedco Seeds. Heron um, has been one of the key collaborators for us in the development of the Steph Curry project, and um, I'm happy to uh, announce um, one of the main inspirations for the naming of the variety, which we're really excited about. <laughs> um, but anyway, Her Heron, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm wondering if you can just start by telling us a bit about yourself and uh, maybe especially your affinity for all things winter squash. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've been working at Fedco Seeds, which is based in Maine in the northeast of the United States. And uh, I've been working at Fedco. This will be my 21st year. Uh, my role here currently is kind of a, like the R&D trials manager. Uh, but I've worked at Fedco for so long that I've done a lot of things, whether it's cleaning toilets or pulling orders. Um, so can you talk a little bit about what um, first drew you to uh, working on this project? Ah, things you don't know. 
<laughs> actually. So when I first started working for my, in my early twenties, um, they were growing a variety or an OP version of red curry. Uh, and it was, I'd never actually seen red curry before. This was 24 years ago. Um, and it was really tasty. And I said, wow, this is a great strain or a great something, great squash. Next thing I know, the next year when I worked for him, we grew it. And the flavor was awful. And unbeknownst to me till I started coming to Fedco was that basically the, the red curry strain, a lot of people associate with this sort of nutty dry balance, kind of went south, kind of just disappeared. A good strain disappeared. Uh, and very few of us had a memory of it actually being good. So when I heard that Vitalis had this background of working with red curry in Europe, which I knew was kind of like that was kind of where this was prized um, for good reason. And that this was like, a, you know, you know, or it had been bred organic from the start and had, you know, some elements. And I was excited to throw it in the field. Um, and from there, the first time I grew it, I knew it, there was something special about this variety. Um, because I have seen red curry strains that are not very vigorous, first of all. Second of all, don't set a ton of fruit and are the teardrop shape that makes them so recognizable and beautiful is sometimes either too elongated, almost triangular, or squat, or just like malformed. They have warts. There's just some, the OP strains can be all over the map. And so what I saw with this one was an incredibly healthy vine that had fruit popping off of every vine, um, literally every arm of the squash, and you're usually looking at three to four to five arms from each plant, every arm set four or five fruits. And so, you know, first I was a, you know, a doubter and I said, mm, anything that bears that much can't taste good. Because, you know, that's sort of one of the things that happens with some of these squashes. Well, as it turns out, it, is really good. It's an incredibly balanced and has that elusive, amazing flavor. It's a beautiful look. And so we're looking at a squash that was getting twice as much yield off of anything else in the trial plot, had great health and also tasted great. And then I said, oh, you know, red curries, these don't keep. Well, the next thing that occurred was it didn't, it didn't rot. You know, many of the strains that I've looked at before um, dissolve by January. And what I found in reasonably good storage was that this curry was keeping until March and even, you know, some of them until April, uh, which uh, it was just kind of, okay, this is a no brainer. Um, and so that, you know, I, I'd been, it's almost in some ways I'd been seeking this and I'm really so glad that Vitalis has been able to bring this back into the market and you know i only grow organically you know um so i can just say in an organic model it's the sweet spot for this for me is um it's organic seed too uh, bread for organic this was the first time that i really saw the nutrient efficiency and the plant efficiency it was just like, it was clear. You, you just can't deny seeing when the plant's growing. You're like, ah. Basically, I found all of the red curry strains that were OPs to be very, they were all over the map. Um, and really just nothing that I think a farmer would be able to make a stand, would be able to make a living off of um, to repay the crop. Uh, they're just too variable. The flavor wasn't there. There was a lot of watery squash. Um, basically it's just not a select strain out there right now. Um, so, you know, the folks that are breeding good quality, obviously, you know, Vitalis is, and they got a breeder that's working on good stuff and really brave and, uh, and bold, I think for Vitalis to take a plunge in this, this class and actually be in a position to define what quality is in this market class, um, because it's been lacking for so long. So 25, 24 years ago. The, the red curry that I loved vanished. <laughs> and here it is. 
It's come we back to it. us. We did yes. it. We did it. Good I, point for sure. We've been trialing this, you know, across the country and we've had really good success in California. We've had really good success in the Pacific Northwest, in the Midwest, so um and also in the Southeast. So so I think um so the idea that, you know, if something can perform in Maine, it can perform anywhere in some ways is, you know, for this variety, it seems it seems accurate. We are having really good luck with it. Well, thank you, Heron. I really appreciate um, your taking time to talk today about Steph Curry and and for all your work uh, in this project, uh, really from the beginning. Well, I really appreciate Vitalis uh, stewarding a great adapted product into the marketplace. And I, I really think the organic grower and gardener is going to be pleasantly surprised. Um, so, you know, kudos and uh we're, you know, it's great to be a partner. And one of the things I would say is, you know, Fedco is a relatively small company and really appreciate that Vitalis cares enough about market growers to bring such a high quality product to bear for us. So.